Hello, people of the internet! Today I want to get an important subject off of my chest, and I chose that wording because it pertains to today's theme, which is boobies! Boobs, boobies, tits, tot-offs, fun bags, whatever you decide to call them, I'm talking about them. And I'm primarily talking about them because I am sick and tired of being opposed to my decision in getting a breast reduction. Obviously, it hasn't happened right now, but when I bring it up, I am sick and tired of hearing that it's a slap in the face of God, that I'm ruining a pair of perfectly good boobs, or that I will be ugly because I'm flat-chested afterwards. And I mostly get this opposition from men who think that they have some kind of reigning ability to decide on what a woman can and can't do with her body, or people that haven't experienced the daily turmoils of having debilitatingly large breasts. So today I'm going to inform you about why and many other women like myself had decided to take this elective surgery. Reason number one. These things are very large. It causes a lot of strain on the upper back, especially when you're doing repetitive tasks. A prime example is that I work in an office and it impacts my ability to perform my job. Since I'm spending multiple hours either sitting down and typing or doing other repetitive tasks, in addition to standing or stooping when I'm filing multiple, multiple files, it causes a lot of pain in my upper back area because I have such large fat sacks on my chest weighing it down. It causes stabbing pain up here, which is very, very painful, but it also impacts my ability to work at a brisk clip. I try my best perform at my job, but sometimes I have to take breaks, massage my own shoulders, or just barrel through the pain even though it makes me want to really curl up in a corner and cry. Reason number two. Since these things are so large, it makes sleeping a bit of an acrobatic act. It doesn't matter if I'm sleeping on my side, on my stomach, on my back, there's really no comfortable way of going about this which causes my sleep schedule to get disrupted. If I'm on my side, I have no way to put my arms because you have these two nice blockages. If I'm sleeping on my stomach, these things are pressing up into my chest making breathing difficult and the same thing when I'm on my back except they're pressing down. Reason number three. Since these are essentially just large sacks of fat, they tend to get a little bit of overhang since they are so heavy. This causes to a massive amount of uncomfortable sweating either under my chest or in between my breasts, depending on what bra I'm wearing. When it gets particularly warm outside like it is now in summer, I get embarrassing rashes and odors because no matter what I do to prevent this, like showering every single day, sometimes twice a day, using antiperspirants in these areas that get easily irritated, I will still end up with this because there's not a lot of air circulation going on there. It is a warm, moist environment which is particularly appealing to the bacterial cultures which cause this. The only way I can really combat this is letting them either go free willy, which is really, really uncomfortable since they're just sitting there unsupported, or I have to use copious amounts of antibacterial or antifungal cream. Either way, I'm still probably going to be sitting in public scratching in between my breasts, which is kind of embarrassing. Reason number four. Since I don't have a traditional figure, I don't fit into the majority of most mass retailers' clothing. I either have to go up a size or two just so it'll fit here and then tailor the waist. No, I'll admit that's not the end of the world, but it is a huge pain in my butt. But what really gets me is that I have to go to speciality stores in order to get proper support for my breasts at a very, very inflated price. I cannot go to department stores, I can't go to mass retailers, I can't even go to Victoria's Secret because they don't carry my size. I am in the F to G kind of range right now, meaning that in order to get a breast which is normally quite ugly, I have to go either online or travel all the way to a special store and pay upwards of 80 to 150 dollars just so my breasts will stay in place and hopefully not hurt as much. Reason number five. Cardio and other forms of exercise, including some strength training, is nearly impossible for me to do, regardless of how many sports bras I happen to be wearing during the time that I'm exercising. This is putting a little, me in a bit of a bind in my weight loss journey because I'm unable to do a lot of high impact cardio. So it doesn't matter if I'm wearing one sports bra or five, I'm still going to be on the treadmill or the elliptical bouncing these things up and down, side to side, hitting myself in the face, hitting my partner in the face, it doesn't matter. It's not only inconveniencing, but it's also very painful due to the up and down, constant undulating motion that it puts on my breast. And reason number six, which I find to be one of the more important points of this video, is that I am sick and tired of people telling me that I should do this. Personally, if you have no experience in this, you should really keep your mouth shut. 
The only person's opinion that matters to me when it comes to getting a breast reduction or not, apart from my own, is either my general practitioners or my surgeons. You have absolutely no say. So stop feeling entitled to telling women, like myself, that they shouldn't get breast reductions. We are not here for your sexual enjoyment. We are not here for you to just gawk at. Our breasts are not here to amuse you. They are part of our person. They are causing lots of pain and suffering in our daily life. Your comments towards us is just an annoyance. It is just about as irritating as those rashes I get in between my breasts during the summer and I really don't want to have to deal with it because I have no time in my day to have to put up with people telling me what I cannot and can do with my body because it's just frustrating. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this PSA and found it particularly helpful. Also, I hope that you keep it in mind next time you try to lecture a woman about what she can and can't do with her breasts. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.